Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com and I'm going to teach you how to make a mint julep. Now this drink is really popular in the south and also back east, probably because it has bourbon in it, which is really, you know, a southern type of drink. It's not exactly like a mojito, but it's kind of the idea with the mint. Anyhow, what you're going to need is bourbon of your choice, mint, sugar cubes, a glass, and if you have a muddler, great. If you don't, any kind of object. You know, this is fine as well, basically just to kind of muddle up the mint and get the flavor in there. So the first step that we're going to do with our mint julep is muddle the mint. You don't want to leave the stems in there, it's not as good with the stems. So you just kind of pull the leaves right off of the stem, stick them in there. We'll do, you know, about three sprigs. Um, if, you, if you have a larger glass like this one, you might want to do four or five. It just kind of depends on the size of glass and how many leaves you're getting per sprig. But you're going to need a nice good handful, basically, to give it that mint flavor that it should have. All right. There we go. So now we have all of our mint in there, so we can put this aside. We don't need any more. And then we need our sugar cubes. We're going to do two sugar cubes. Feel free to do three if you kind of want it a little bit sweeter. One. I like mine a little sweeter. So three. Now, if you don't have sugar cubes, but you do have simple syrup in your house, that works as well. You just need some kind of sugar to sweeten it up and kind of mix in with the mint. So we're gonna go ahead and mash all these sugar cubes up. Mash up the mint. Get it good and mashed all the way together. A little process there. You want to make sure that you get it all. Be careful not to get too rough. If you, if you have a thinner glass, you don't want to break your glass. So some people do this in the shaker tins or something else, but this is a pretty thick, hefty glass. Okay, so now that it's all good and crushed, just got to get some ice. Go ahead and fill up our glass all the way with ice. Get a little more. There we go. And then you're going to put two ounces of your bourbon right in there. All right, and just to make sure it gets mixed up, kind of, you might want to go back and forth with the mint. You can choose to shake it up if you'd like, but sometimes I just toss it back and forth a few times. All right, and now you have a mint julep. Thanks for watching. If you have any drink requests, go ahead and send them to request at mahalo.com. Or if you just want to learn some other drinks, visit the links all around.